Our sister, you're welcome. Tell us your name, where you come from, and your testimony. Mercy Land. Are now solution and power. Mercy Land. Are now solution and power. My name is Nomfundo Patience Matubela. I come from South Africa in Eastern Cape. I'm here. Eastern Cape people, are you here? If you are here, make some excitement for Jesus. Okay, go ahead, sister. I'm here to testify for the glory of God, of what has happened to me. Daddy, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufen, you are my father. Daddy, mm. I connected to you. The first time I saw Daddy, I was not even in church. I saw him on ECG through the channel. I was at home. I said, eh, eh. Who is this prophet? Everybody is falling, falling, falling. Yet I'm not in church. What is this? I said, ah, Jesus. And it was on Sunday. I was not in church. Just I, take it easy because everyone wants to listen to what you are saying. Just calm down. Take it easy. Because I know you are so excited. Go ahead, our sister. I said, ah, now the prophet is going. How can I see the prophet again? I connected to the, to the Mercy TV. And on December, on the 31st, Papa said, ah, oh, it's a candle light. And I didn't have any, any candle. I, I went to the shop and buy, and buy the candle. Is it I December 2015? Yes. Okay. I bought a candle. I put it on the screen when Papa was praying. And uh, he said, you must also put an apron. I didn't have an apron every night. And Papa said, this candle, you will pray with it until March. A miracle will happen. And mm. I believed. At that time, my face was, I was having a lamp here. It was swollen. And it was, there was no pain at all. Uh, after I prayed with Papa, within two days, Papa, I saw prophet on the dream. He said, let's pray. Follow me. Oh, God, my father. I follow him. Oh, God, my father. Deliver me. When I say deliver me, I couldn't finish. I was just, water was coming out of my mouth. When I woke up, the pillow was wet. Since that day, this thing was just fine, like this way. So oh, my God. For how long... The lump was there on your jaw. It was from November until December. Okay, two months. Two months. And the place was really swollen. It was very swollen. Even my family, they had a meeting. They said, you must go to the doctor. They said what? They said, I must go to the doctor because there was no pain at all. But it was just swollen. Swollen. Okay. Yes. Did you go to the doctor? I didn't go to the doctor. I was delivered through the, through the prophet of God through my dreams. Oh my God, True Mercy TV, what did you do? Did you use, what did you do, True Mercy TV? You were watching Mercy TV, what yes, did I you was, do? Yes, I was watching Mercy TV. Then what did you do? I prayed along with the prophet. Okay, yes. the prophet visited you through you, the dream. Yes, Papa. Okay, it was after that prayer you were praying with the prophet when he said, follow me. Yes. Okay, so when you woke up in the morning, the what happened? The, the, uh, after I wake up, it was still in the, around 2 a.m. in the morning. I saw the pillow was, uh, it, it was wet, it was okay, water around. Okay, your pillow up. was wet? Yes. Oh my God, do you hear this deliverance? Oh my God. You know, what our sister is saying here, she was passing through this problem for two good months. Her jaw swollen. Though she was not feeling pains, but she, she, you know, you, you will look shy going out to the public with a swollen jaw. So they advised her to go to the doctor. She said, no. I have the faith that the God of Prophet Jeremiah Moto for free will set me free from this problem. And actually, her words come to pass. The prophet visited her in her dream and asked her, follow me. Pray along with me. And she was praying with the prophet. And so when she woke up, she discovered that the whole water that was in her jaw, the swollen jaw, the water got out and her pillow was wet so her jaw came back to normal true the prophet the god of prophet jeremiah omoto for him you can see the jaw of our, our brother our sister right now can you see it the jaw is normal the god of prophet visited her today she's set free that healing will touch somebody here today if you came here with any sickness just believe God that the god that visited our sister, that same God will visit you today. Can I hear better? Amen. And uh, Papa said, you must light up the candle until March. I kept on praying with the candle. I was afraid because uh, I'm not working. I resigned at work last year. And then I said, I'm, I opened my own business. It never worked. It was only on paper. 
So now uh, the camp was getting finished because I was using it, I playing with it, and uh, I was scared because March is, is around the corner. And then on February, I always submitted quotations everywhere. On 26th of February, I received a call. My company received a tender. Oh my God, put your hands together for Jesus. Go ahead. My company received a tender. And I made a, I made a promise that God, if you can give me a tender, I must partner with the prophet. I, my, 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 for me to tithe, I must get the job through my company. And I said to myself, I want to dance like David with my father. I wanted to come to Nigeria on June. But God said, prophet must come here. Papa, I'm here to dance with you. These four days, I will dance like David in your compound. Are you excited? So our sister, you receive the contract. Yes. Okay, so the contract is ongoing now. Yes, it's ongoing now. They paid me last week. So that's why I say I must come and partner and partner. Oh is here. my God, it's like somebody did not hear what our sister said. She received the cash. She received it last week. You have received your money, isn't that so? Yes, sir. Oh, our sister said he was watch, she was watching Mercy TV during the crossover service. And in that service, we were using candle, the crossover night. So she also used her own in her house. And one thing I heard she said, she followed the instruction of the prophet. That is an obedient child. She kept and kept using it for three months. Within that period, she was using the candle and said she received the tender, which is the contract. She executed the contract and she also received her payment. Somebody did not hear me. She executed the contract and she received her payment. Oh my God. So our sister is so excited. She has come back here to give glory and honor to the God of Prophet Jeremiah Moto for free. Children of God, if you're happy, put your hands together for Jesus. Our sister, we rejoice with you for what the Lord has done in your life. Let your testimony be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout power. power. Our sister, you're welcome. Tell us your name, where you come from, and your testimony. Mercy land. Mercy land. My name is Alice Tavada. My name is Alice Tavada. I came from Zimbabwe. My testimony. Okay. I was here yesterday. We came here early in the morning. Before six, we were here. So we were sitting right there. And it was nearly maybe past, past 10, something like that. So the man of God, Jeremiah Motofafiri, said, everybody who has water, anything, just raise it up. So I just raised my hand like this. You raise, said, you raise your hand or your yes, water? Yes, I just raised my hand. Okay, no water with you? No water with me. That was when? Yesterday. Yesterday's Yesterday, service. Yes. Oh my God, go ahead. So we went home. He said, you will see me in your dreams when you sleep. So I slept. I slept like a baby last night. I dreamed. I saw prophet Jeremiah Motofefe in my dreams. He came to me in my dreams last night. He said, madam, please forgive. I cried in the dream. He said, you know what I meant? I said, you must forgive. I said, I know, father. You must, as I said, I must forgive my husband. He said, that is true. So don't you worry, the past is over. I'll pray for you. You know, I came from Zimbabwe on Monday. I was sick. I, I, was, I couldn't stand straight like this. I stand like this, you know. So he came in my dream and he, prayed. he said, I will pray for you. Everything will be all right. He just touched me. You know, he just touched me. I woke up. 
Mm. I get up in the morning. Mm. I feel light. Mm. I, I. Ah. Go ahead. I started cleaning the house, washing the dishes, doing everything, make breakfast for my son. I took my bath. So we came here. I'm, I'm so blessed. Were you able to do all that when you were sick? No, no, I couldn't do anything. Even okay. in the morning, I get up. I couldn't walk straight. I just you pain. can't imagine. For how long you were passing through that pain? Since 2009, I think so. Okay, That's from 2009, about eight years. Yes. Oh, my God. Do you hear what our sister said? For the past eight years, she had been passing through these severe pains. She couldn't stand erect like this. She do bend because of the pains. And she said she came here to this program all the way from Zimbabwe. And when she came here, the man of God said, lift your water. She was not with water, but she believed that if she lift up her hands, that she would get connected with the God of Prophet Jeremiah Motofufuni. And she left up her hands. In the night, the prophet visited her in, the, in a way she never expected. And the prophet touched her, as she said. He said that pains disappear when she woke up in the morning. She touched everywhere. She couldn't find anything again. She was not feeling any pains. Right now, she can stand erect. No more pains. Children of God, are you happy with what the Lord has done in the life of our sister? If you are happy and you are expecting a miracle in this service, jump up and shout hallelujah! Our sister, can you walk a little? Let's see how you are walking now. See, she said she's walking straight. What she could not do before, she's doing it now. She's so excited. Oh my God. She feels like running. Okay, our sister, you can stand. Our sister, we rejoice with you for what the Lord of Prophet Jeremiah Motofufi has done upon your life. These pains will never come back again. And let your testimony be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord.